speaker is Lord Panic. Uh, my lords, it's always an education to follow, to listen to the noble Lord, Lord Winston. Uh, I declare an interest uh, as an expectant grandfather. My daughter, one of my daughters, Shula Markerson, is expecting her second child, my fourth grandchild, uh, in a few weeks' time. And uh, in this expectant state, I find it extraordinary that until the pregnancy of the Attorney General, to whom I send my best wishes, no one in government seems to have recognised that ministers, like other women, do get pregnant and are entitled to be paid uh, maternity leave. Uh, the fact that we are considering fast track legislation today, with all the defects in parliamentary scrutiny that that involves, a point made by uh, Baroness Gale, tells the House everything it needs to know about the low priority historically accorded by successive governments to issues of maternity. Uh, I agree with Baroness Heyman and others that the government does need to give priority to more uh, general reform. Uh, I also think that it is regrettable that in a bill which does belatedly recognise the needs of female ministers, Clause 1 confers benefits only if the Prime Minister so allows in his or her discretion a point touched upon by uh, Baroness Hussein Eki. Um, can the minister, when he replies, uh, give an example of when the prime minister might refuse to allow a pregnant minister to be designated uh, in circumstances where she would uh, be remaining in post, uh, but for her pregnancy? Why is this not a duty uh, to uh, pay uh, to paid maternity leave. And also, can the minister confirm that it is not intended uh, by this discretionary benefit that the prime minister should ever be able to say to a pregnant minister, very sorry, but because you are pregnant, I I'm going to sack you. Uh, something that uh, is, is rightly now uh, 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 unacceptable in all other walks of life. The minister said in his uh, opening uh, speech that this bill sends out what he called a vital message to women uh, that they can pursue a political career without needing to choose between uh, that career and their family. Uh, does the minister really think that the conferral of the benefits on a discretionary basis is consistent with these laudable aims. And my Lords, on the language uh, of the bill, Parliament has often referred to the person who gives birth uh, to a child as a woman, and indeed as a mother. Uh, examples have already been given. Can I add one? Section 33, subsection 1, of the Human Fertilization and Embryology Act 2008. Uh, that defines a mother as, quote, the woman who is carrying or has carried a child. However, your Lordship should recognize uh, that Baroness Jones of Molscombe was correct to point out that there are some trans men who were born female, who have given birth. One of them brought legal proceedings uh, last year in the Court of Appeal, and a, a judgment was given that uh, noble lords may be interested in. A judgment was given by the Lord Chief Justice, Lord Burnett of uh, Malden, for the Court of Appeal in the McConnell case. Uh, it's reported in the third volume of the Weekly Law Reports for 2020 at page 683. And the Lord Chief Justice explained that the claimant had been registered at birth as female. 
but had then transitioned to live in the male gender and had received a gender recognition certificate under the Gender Recognition Act 2004, stating that his gender was male. And he then went to, uh, underwent artificial insemination, became pregnant and gave birth to a child. He brought legal proceedings complaining that the birth certificate of the child recorded him as the mother. He said he should be recorded because he had transitioned as the father or as a parent. The Court of Appeal rejected his complaint and it said that recording him as the mother was not a breach of his human rights. The Lord Chief Justice said that as a matter of common law and under the legislation governing the registration of births, the person who gave birth to a child is the mother. And the Supreme Court dismissed an application for permission to appeal. In the light of that judgment, uh, I do not myself think that there are any legal difficulties in referring to mothers or women uh, in this bill. Uh, the mother of parliaments in doing that would, I think, be showing no disrespect to trans men. Thank you.